of the recap. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna do it, I wonder? Hit us with it. We're ready? We are ready. Okay. So we, after completing the previous uh, fight, we made our way through Dark Tunnel and came out on the other side in this open area um, overlooking a small set of ruins. We almost got ripped apart by a swarm of bones that was being magically uh, drifted into the center of this uh, smaller pyramid. So we made our way uh, to that and found a entity summoning something from this large pit in front of us. We began to do battle, and <laughs> nearly succumbed to death, I would say. <laughs> or at least a, a couple of us did. But we uh, bested both enemies uh, after the Raven Queen's assistance spoke to Janira and gave her the strength and uh, the guidance. Yeah, the guidance needed to crush the Mummy Lord's heart. And now we've been instructed to run as the ruins around us begin to crumble from the ceiling. Yes, indeed. As we left off before, the ruins do indeed begin to quake and rumble. Bits of stonework begin to fall down from above you. And that one whispered command from the Raven Queen echoing in your ears, Janira. Run. What do you all do first? As I think I'll casually stroll out of here. Casually stroll? Strut, even. Like, um, oh, fuck, what's his name? Never mind, I can't think. Never mind. Like somebody who struts. That Zoolander skit. I think, it's like, I think it's Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. But he's like... Hold on. <laughs> or that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just casually scrub yeah. out of there. Yeah, Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy from Titanic, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we loot the I body. Blue steel. Janira is strutting. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about bodies is that uh, really the only thing of note that you've been able to loot so far is the strange spear-like thing that um, the Thrykreen dude had. That Thrykreen has now since been eaten by Caesar. Oh, yeah. And he gave uh, the the Caesar gave it to Mickey, right? Uh, yes, to Mickey. Yeah. Yes, I believe so. Which I'll I have mean... to I'll have to look at the stats so I can get you that. But we're in a a temple, right? With See, other a, a rapidly we're... deteriorating temple, yes. As um. The bones that had piled up in the center to allow the, the mummy to come to this surface level, uh, those bones have begun to shift and spin, almost like a whirlpool. And you can see things being drawn into it. As if it's a black hole beginning to pull everything within its event horizon into itself. God, that's not good. Definitely not good. We're running, right? We're, we're fucking running. I hope so for your sake that you're running. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> I, I I tell everybody to start running now. Okay. Uh. I was like, we saw this, right? I was like, I know I didn't hear it from my God, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I think that as soon as I start seeing immediate danger, I'm fucking booking it because my survival skills are top notch, and I'd like to live. All right. All of you try to rush out of the temple. If you recall, it's a very narrow entryway. 
uh, into into the temple where you have to go single, single file for a moment before it widens out. Once you're outside of the temple, you are standing in that strange, almost like recreation of uh, the main temple, the main pyramid structure that you had entered far, far above on the surface. The sand itself is beginning to run like rivers into the temple, uh, making it a little difficult to try and move. You can see the large object that acts as a, 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 a pseudo sun in the air is also slowly beginning to move towards the temple, picking up speed as it goes. So it's at this point that we are going to enact a skill challenge. Oh, fuck. For those of you who haven't done one in a while, a skill challenge is a, a series of tests that you guys are going to do and these are tests that you will be prompting. You will tell me what skill you are be you will be using and in what way uh, in order to try and um, escape this situation that you're in. And the idea is that as a group, collectively, you need to get a certain number of successes before you get a certain number of failures uh, in order to escape somewhat unharmed and to make uh, things easier we are going to go ahead and do this in initiative order so everybody go ahead and roll me initiative first Eden, you quick as fuck man yeah, I think it's my 19 dex that gives me bonus to initiative. Oh, yeah. 313.313. 13, 13, 13, 13. Oh, wow. Holy shit. 3, 13, 13s. Oh. So much for single file. Oh, my God. <laughs> How does that even happen? That's okay. a fucking screenshot there. Yeah, Look at that shit. shit. That's. <laughs> you what said are the single number file. Fuck that. Y'all started like shoving yourself through the door. What are the odds of that? Oh my god. Pretty fucking low. Did it, did it actually take like the third decimal place? Well, I think at that point it just goes off of dex. Yeah, the, the assume, decimal or... is the dex modifier. Is it? I'm pretty sure, yeah. No, I think it's just a second d20 oh, that wait, it's no. rolled. As I like have a, a dexterity of 13. Maybe you're right. Oh. If, if Kaden and Kamira have 18, then yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, you're right. That is what it is. No wonder. I was like, I rolled this number oh. multiple times before. It was oh, a 13. Never mind. Yeah, 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 it, oh. wasn't, oh. it wasn't a statistical wonder. <laughs> Damn it. It is still three people rolling 13s. That, that yeah. is true. That is true. Who happened, who happened to have the same dexterity modifier? Yeah, actually, I suppose it is a, a um, statistical statistical wonder, just not quite as strong of a statistical one. Yes, skill challenge to escape the collapsing temple. And Keenan, you are the first one to react as everything seems to be going to hell. Is there? Any one of I guess my plan is to tie a rope around an arrow and try to shoot it into something solid to use it to hang on to and potentially like crawl or I guess climb the rope toward the, the exit. It seems like we're being sunken into like a pit. We're in the center of something that's like beginning to sink down. Is that mm. what it's okay? That's the description. So, let's make that. And on, on me, I have 50 feet of rope. Let's make that an athletics check. Okay. Is this...
intelligence or wisdom? Never mind. It's strength. All right. 19 is enough. So thinking fast, you shoot, you tie a rope to an arrow and fire it off into one of the uh, brick buildings that are just lying around as ruins, giving you and your group something solid to hold on to as the sand itself seems to kind of like pull itself out from underneath your feet, running towards the growing whirlpool in, in the center. One success. Peppers. Mm. Oh, I think I'm going to use my last spellfall. Cast freedom of movement. Okay. And I'm just going to keep an eye on Janira and make sure she gets out okay. And basically run out the door uh, from the way from which we came. Okay. For the purposes of the challenge, we're going to assume that you're all kind of moving somewhat as one. I will allow you to do it, to use your turn to do this, but it's not going to incur any successes or... Because it's not a skill. <laughs> it's just a spell. Also to note is once you have used a skill, you cannot use that skill again. Come up for the skill check. Yes. I see. Okay. So use use an athletics check just now, meaning you cannot use another athletics check. Okay, so I would have to use something different. You'd have to use a skill and describe to me in what way you use that skill. And you mean like us individually, right? Like someone else could make an ath athletics check. Correct, yes. Yeah, individually, once you've used a skill, you can no longer use the said skill. Oh, no. Yeah, I was uh... like, once I do my dexterity, <laughs> what we do next, boys? I don't know. I stab and I dodge. That's what, what I got. <laughs> oh, Maybe you can yeah, go invisible. Got a good somehow. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll go ahead and not use... Freedom of movement. Instead, I'm going to use uh, Enhance Ability at 4th level, which means I can cast it on two people instead. Okay. Uh, and then I would like to use the... And you said somebody else can't use the athletic skill, or you, you as a person can't use the same skill twice? You as an individual cannot use the same skill twice. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and do... Where the fuck did it go? I just saw it. <laughs> There you are. You go ahead and use that ability instead. And I will give both strength to uh, since that is at 4th level, I can select 3 targets. I'll give myself Janira. And... 
we'll go ahead and give to Mech. No, we'll give Ember full of strength as well. Uh, all three of those targets will have advantage on strength checks. Okay. That feels a lot better. And I would like to athlete my way out of here. So, again, you've used a spell in, in place of a skill. Which you, it's fine. You can do that, and you can get grant that bonus, but it's not going to count towards either a failure or a big success. That you spend so your time doing that and running. That's about it. Yeah, that's about all I can do. Okay. For now. Then, Tameki, your turn. I don't even know what I should do. Uh... Well, I believe I've just shot the rope. So, like, it's there. So, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. So, Kidan has shot the rope, and all of you have used it to kind of help pull yourself a little bit further from the temple. Yeah, you've made some progress. As as a group, you have made progress. Let's see. I'm just trying to see what's in my inventory, if I could do anything useful. And we're in sand, too, so I don't think a potion of water breathing will help me if I go <laughs> under sand, right? Yep. No, so. not really. <laughs> See if you got a charisma check. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you could ask yeah, nicely. <laughs> Have we tried um, asking nicely for it to yeah. stop? Can you please stop going into the black hole, please? <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, you have I... to intimidate the sand. Yeah, no, I need a performance check. I just start dancing vigorously. <laughs> and this becomes one of those those scenes from like Greece. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> I got chills, they're multiplying. <laughs> so how many people have made it up the rope so far? Uh all of you are moving more or less together. Okay. Uh so we're we're each making checks so everybody can move kinda at the same yeah. pace. Mm-hmm. It's kinda like we selected all the party, right? Like select all party members and then we and do an just... ability and then we all move. Think back. of this okay. like a quick time event. It, it's very okay. abstract. But each individual okay. gets their chance to shine. Okay. What well, let's see, we did strength already. No, so it doesn't at, matter. Uh it's it doesn't matter, use. yes. It does not matter. Okay. My best one is probably intimidation so you just make one of those checks and you just can't do it again Mm -hmm. i know i realize that a lot of those skills probably aren't going to apply but if you can come up with the plausible reason why it might then i'll let you do Uh, it (laughs) just know that certain certain checks are going to be harder than others (laughs) i'll probably need to start with one of my worst skills then Yeah, intimidation and performance are my highest. I'm not going to persuade the rope. Start with, uh... Athletics. Okay. How are you utilizing your athletics in this moment to help you and your party escape? I mean, I'm a pretty thick boy, and I can kind of help move everybody if we need help. That's true. Mm-hmm. So Mickey just starts picking people up and chucking yeah. them forward. <laughs> I see someone kind of, like lose grip, <laughs> so I grab them by like the back of their shirt or whatever, and like pull them up and like put them back on the rope. Okay, fair enough. Because I'm kind of like behind everybody. So Tameki shepherding people from behind, making sure that if anyone stumbles you're there to easily pick them up and put them back on their feet you all manage to uh get somewhat through the ruined town you can see the cliff up ahead with a tunnel that leads up and out as we move on to janeira Can I do a survival check in order to determine the best 
possible safest like route out of here yeah. in order to relay that information okay yeah not great all right so you're running through the the ruined city that surrounds the uh the smaller pyramid you look around trying to find a pa the path that you think will most likely hold together longest and allow you to get the most progress made before it too begins to crumble apart unfortunately you just so happen to choose the wrong one and as you your group rushes down one of the streets one of the ruined buildings in front of you begins to splinter and fragment and almost like a uh, like an action movie just comes barreling towards you oh my god uh, you lose some progress having to duck behind other buildings or hit the hit the dirt um, in order to avoid the flying rocks smashing your faces in. <laughs> okay. That is your first failure. Ember. Uh, no one's done an investigation check. Right. That, it, that it is correct. It doesn't matter if what other people have done. Oh, okay. But you are Th correct. I, oh. Um, can I use an investigation check to determine the weakest parts that are falling down around us and avoid, tell everyone to avoid okay. as we climb? Sure. Okay. 15 is enough for another pass. Carefully looking over the path ahead of you, specifically that winding pathway that leads up uh, up the cliffside, you point out to the others as you run places where the, um, the foothold seems weak, and sure enough, as you all pass, it, it too begins to crumble and kind of fade away. At this point... There is a massive boom in the distance as you can see that virtual or that virtual that um fake sun that was kind of hovering over there is little more than just a large ball of rock that was giving out uh a, a ton of light. It is now slammed into what remains of that pyramid structure, crumbling itself. And you can see that the almost snow globe-esque desert that was in this large cavern is quickly fading away to just a, a pitch black maw of nothingness. This cliffside is basically the only thing that is still somewhat intact. And it too is quickly falling apart as you all duck into the tunnel leading up to the uh, the room with the four platforms that you had fought so hard in before. As we come to Kamira. Okay, so I'm assuming uh, assuming with the boom and everything, there's lots of debris just going around in the sand, right? So what I want to do is I want to use a perception check to see the optimal path to like step on um solid ground kind of like flash whenever he's you know stepping on shit in the air you know what i'm talking about okay so that's what i would like to do all right go for it uh perception check okay good enough for another pass you look ahead as you run and you can see spots where the tunnel itself that you're entering to move upwards uh, is beginning to deteriorate just as much as the scene behind you has. You quickly find the places where the cracks are forming um, most severely and guide your party through in such a way that you avoid any of those places. Um, it's almost 
progressing to such a degree that as you guys are running up the tunnel, maybe 10, 15 feet behind you, that tunnel is just crumbling away into nothingness or collapsing in on itself. Brings us back to the top of the round to Keenan. So we're still in the tunnel, making our way back up to that central room that was kind of like a, mm -hmm. like a church almost. In fact, you can. Okay. Uh, so you're headed back up to that um, cavernous space where you had fought all the skeletons, and you had the four platforms to stand on. Oh, okay. All right. In fact, right you now. can see the bright light that's emanating from that room after you successfully completed that puzzle. So I guess since we're all crowded in, in the area, I try to find uh, a safe spot to take the wall since I could move along the walls to mm -hmm. kind of clear the room to allow other people to, I guess, do what they need to do in, in order to make it out. But okay. I don't know if I want to look for a safe spot on the wall or I want to just go ahead and jump on the wall. Mm. Okay. And, Either way would be fine for me. That sounds like an acrobatics check for me if jumping is involved. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, I'll jump against a wall and, and try to use the wall instead of the path everyone else is taking. Okay. Go for that uh, acrobatic check then. The 12. You... Come uh, to the mouth of the tunnel leading into that large room with the platforms, and you jump up onto the wall, kind of circling it, trying to get onto the roof to sprint ac across the roof, because as you can see, the bone bridge that had formed over the chasm in that room is now gone. There is just a ravine separating you um, from the pathway leading up and out of this collapsing structure. Unfortunately, the roof itself is also beginning to crumble, and you lose uh, your pace a little bit. Do you get another failure, unfortunately? And you can see that that, that wall of where there is... Um, like walkable ground is quickly fading away. You have now about eight to ten feet behind you. Peppers. As your group rushes into the room and sees the ravine ahead of you, what are you doing? Sergeant Peppers. Wow, I was muted this whole time. Uh, can I use a perception check to figure out the best course of action so I can tell my teammates which way to go? <gasps> yes. Okay, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> 22. 22. With your keen analytical mind and eye, you look around the room and you notice that some of the wall has come apart and with a uh a liberal shove from you and the rest of the party you can actually push it over to form a makeshift bridge across the ravine 
jumping oh, yeah. on, jumping on that opportunity you do so pushing the rock over giving yourselves maybe uh still round about a 10 foot head start to the oblivion just forming behind you you cross over the ravine and now are making your way up to the tunnel that will lead you into the temple structure itself up above Tameki, your turn. You're on the home stretch. Yeah, uh, I would say... Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to spin this. Um, after the recent failures, I would say that uh, Tameki kind of tries to put on uh, a facade to kind of motivate the rest of the party to move forward when you know there's a possibility we may not make it out so okay are are you okay so you're trying to do a performance check you don't want to uh intimidate them (laughs) i i don't i don't i don't know if that's the that's the I swear to God, if we don't get out of this, I will fucking haunt all of you. <laughs> yeah, no, that's gonna be the uh, my dying breath. <laughs> okay, so performance to try and uh, maybe lift the spirits, keep keep morale up. Yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and do that then. Oh fuck! Oh no! Uh, so you'd like to say something encouraging and, um, inspiring to your party members. Unfortunately, you've been running for a long time now, and (laughs) all you can really get out is gasp for air. (laughs) Fuck. Hey, you guys! (gasps) Whatever whatever words you had thought sounded good in your oxygen deprived brain just come out as a garbled mess. <laughs> Making wow. your party members look back at you with worry and uh somewhat slow the progress. The the collapsing tunnels behind you are now a mere five or six feet away. Janira. Great. Uh, dude, I am proficient in insight, medicine, religion, and stealth, and I don't think we're going to sneak past this one. I didn't know. <laughs> stealth, probably not. Right the Raven Queen. Not going to help me here, most prayed. likely. <laughs> yeah. Insight, and... check the DM to see if he's going to kill us. Oh <laughs> I don't think I need to. <laughs> Religion check the Raven Queen to see if she's got a, uh like a tip tip a finger idea. that she, she told that'd be a great that would be a really yeah. awesome thing to do if religion was a wisdom check and not for some reason an intelligence check. <laughs> it's book learning religion. <laughs> uh I mean I have a plus three in my religion check. Well, you do have advantage on strength checks. Uh, I actually kind of have strength. Well, you have advantage. You have plus two? It is not the worst. Uh... I guess, can I, like, use my strength to just, like, grab anyone that's, like, kind of falling behind and just, like, pull them with me? Yeah. Sounds okay. like athletics to me. Athletics, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's family feud. I love it. Yeah. Ad- advantage, right? Advantage, yep. Advantage, yeah. Oh, shit. oh, it's a crit. Oh, the Raven Queen seems to be with you. You, you didn't even need <clears throat> it. You rolled a 19. 
You can roll a 19 and a 20. A 20, wow. That's Very nice. Three. With a, a last bit of strength that emanates from somewhere deep inside of you, Janira, you manage to galvanize any who uh, seem to, to fall behind. Um, pushing them along, giving them a helping hand if they stumble. As you reach the tunnels and now step into the actual temple structure inside the main pyramid, you can see the light of day ahead of you, but there's still a little bit further that you have to go. Ember, can you get us out of here? Uh, you get home. You so, got this. I think I want to make a history check to see if I can see any symbols that I remember from my brain that may be like an exit sign, but also old, you know, temple exit sign, something quicker to get us out of here. Is that something <laughs> I can like? Um... Like, is there a neon green exit, but in un the temple? Unfortunately, this place is not up to code. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, like maybe knowing what I know about pyramid structures or something like that, where an exit should be, if it's right around the corner or it's more forward. You can use history to see if you can remember the layout and the path you took to um, go into the tunnels. I'll do it. I'll take it. Fifteen is just enough. As you recollect quickly, um, as you enter the pyramid structure, everything immediately becomes familiar to you. You call out for the group to follow you and uh, make the Make the path that you had used to get in to get yourselves out. And finally, blissfully even, you rush out into the baking hot sun of the desert. <laughs> Down the stairs and away from the pyramid until you finally stop feeling the ground shift beneath you. And you can all stop panting to catch your breaths as you look and you watch as the pyramid itself seems to collapse inward on itself and sink below the sand as if it was never there to begin with. Good. Fuck that place. <laughs> I spit. I'm Is there really some glad. dynamite in a Yoshi egg somewhere? <laughs> I'm really glad we got out. My next option was sleight of hand. I was like, I'm gonna pickpocket this to death. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll find a, you know, a button in the wall or something in the midst of panic. Everybody, go Don't ahead and make like me a Constitution saving throw. Oh, oh fuck. God, no! It'll be oh, fun. God. Since we're in the desert, do I get advantage on that? Um, or actually, it's not something I'm proficient in. Never mind. Dude, my rolls swing one way or the other. <laughs> That's what a swing is. Janira, Ember, and Peppers. Once you are free and the adrenaline starts to wear off, you realize... Uh, holy shit, what a fucking run that was. And <laughs> your legs just lose all strength and you kind of sink down, just falling onto the hot desert sand as you struggle to catch your breath. Um, you all have a point of exhaustion after such a, a rigorous final oh, test. Oh, there it is. There's no button, I just gotta type one. When... Well, uh, hopefully we did what we needed to because I don't think we can go back. Yeah. Uh, no. I didn't get a point of exhaustion, right? 
Nope, just uh, Janira, Ember, and Sergeant Pepper. Is everybody else passed? Man, I should have gave us the Constitution bonus. So, you're all breathing heavily, and your 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 legs burn with uh, effort, uh, but you're still able to stand and catch your breath normally. Whereas the uh, the the other three are just gassed. <laughs> Accurate. Pull out my water skin from my pack and just hand it to the nearest person. It's the best fucking water you've ever had in your life. <laughs> water drinking gulp sounds. Mm -hmm. four, I hate four the pints. fucking desert. There's four <laughs> pints of liquid in this. <laughs> so I'm there's not, enough for everyone. I'm not as young as I used to be, it seems. I became a wizard for a reason. I didn't want to do any of this. <laughs> Running. <laughs> lifting. Speaking of which, where's your broom? There was no track team. Uh, at the old, <laughs> uh, you know those like the the Jetsons, the beep 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 noise. It's like the slad was just yeah cruising <laughs> cruising on my broom. Mm -hmm. time to time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you 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 saved it for Caesar. <laughs> yeah, the only way that it would go that fast with that giant fucking frog on it. <laughs> This song Topher is one of my favorites in like out of all video game music. It's a really good one. Really good. I've never played that game actually. And probably I haven't to. either. No. I really I should. wanted to play it, but everyone says that the Steam version's kinda dookie. Mm. Yeah. That's what I've heard. And I was gonna play it on my Steam Deck, but yeah. For those of you watching the stream, we're talking about Chrono Trigger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are we even gamers? Uh, since I haven't, like, I haven't set up the thing yet that actually shows what music is playing, even though I've it's literally been on the back burner for ages. <laughs> okay. Can always chat do the bot audio thing. It causes chat engagement. What's the song? Oh, it's this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's true. Well, I mean, I I don't I don't let it play in the vod because this goes to YouTube, and I don't want it oh, to get. True. Not yeah, yeah, just but I sent axed. you the thing to set it up. Yeah, to mix it out, to yeah. split it. That's I think I sent it to you. Did you? All right. Oh, I'll I'll do that when I can. <laughs> so I'm uh I'm wanting to set up the stream to do other stuff. We'll talk about that later. Um, okay. Back into character. Back into character. Uh, <laughs> gasping helplessly in the sand. <laughs> As you drink from <laughs> Kidan's offered water skin. Suddenly, a cool presence can be felt behind all of you. And you turn to find what looks to be almost like a living shadow until dark wings unfurl. From it and appearing from the gloom is a bright white porcelain mask doesn't even uh. have to tell me i'm on my knees i'm too tired <laughs> <laughs> as the the figure towers over all of you you can all hear a, a soft Calm, feminine voice emanating from this figure. You have done well, my children. You have stopped a great evil. And such trials deserve a reward. A shadowy hand which peels away and shows the soft, dainty, almost pale white skin of her hand as she gestures to the sand before you. The sand begins to shift and spin, just like what you had seen at the bottom of that structure where everything started to 
pull inward on itself. But this time... Oh, fuck. What looks like a small pile of treasure floats to the surface of the sand and sits before the group. Your god is speaking my language. <laughs> and then the figure turns specifically to Janeera and Peppers gliding over in, un in an unworldly fashion. As she reaches down and takes each of your hands in turn, there is a small shock, like touching something with a static charge. It's, it's painful, but only in an instant before the pain is gone. And there is a strange, almost cooling sensation spreading across the backs of your hands. This gift I give to the two of you for completing this quest. Its benefits may not be immediately apparent, but they will. On this you have my word and my gratitude. Thank you, my queen. Thank you, my queen. <laughs> she cups each of your cheeks, one at a time, like a loving mother. Damn. The coolness of her hand, uh, soothing compared to the scorching desert sun. And then... Just as quickly as she appeared, she begins to fade away. Back into shadow, back into nothingness. The last thing you see being that bright white porcelain mask. Huh. Venera will look at Peppers, and she is absolutely beaming with a huge smile on her face. It has been a long time, hasn't it, sister? Yeah. I did then, that we did. On the backs of your hands are now a shimmering violet outline, almost like a tattoo of what appears to be a flock of ravens in flight. Hmm. Seems like a generational thing, but I can dig it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I want to leave in Ravens. <laughs> we have the same right. tattoo? Do yes. they match? Oh, do they match? They do. If we, like, put our palms together, does it make, <laughs> like, a bigger raven? Oh my god, you're gonna fusion! Ha! It, but with uh, really great. Yeah, so she did opposite hands. <laughs> so it looks like a group of ravens kind of um flying out from the center like where your where your, like if you look at your hand like where your thumb is going up and across towards your pinky that's the oh, direction that's cool. that they are flying so so cool. peppers has it going one direction engineer has it going the other so if you put it together it almost makes sort of like a almost like a heart shape in a way huh Aww. You do the shadow puppet of a bird. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how we do it. It's like our high five now. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Uh, the opposite of whatever you are. Mm -hmm. I'm left-handed. Okay. And she's right-handed. Yep. So. You have been... Marked in some way by your goddess, and you and the Peppers rest would be left-handed. Peppers would be left. -handed. Wouldn't. <laughs> Indeed. Oh. That's what you were saying. That's cool. Yeah, that'd be a neat idea. 
That's how I interpreted oh. it. Anyway. <laughs> no, not quite. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That'd have been super if, cool. If I had the artistic I mean, skill, all... I would I would draw it out, but I, I do not. <laughs> yeah. If, if but it even was if like the birds Power are coming from the thumb to the pinky, then on the outside you'd see like the little birds, but it's like all the birds are flying out and it's in the shape of like a giant one. So <laughs> it's cool. like the birds starting from here and then flying out this way. Mm hmm I see. And so like on the opposite end, that's how it would look. Dang. That'd be cool. I was imagining if it was gonna be like Power Rangers where she would <laughs> and then it was just like <laughs> and they just do a fusion <laughs> together. <laughs> We're going to turn into a giant kaiju raven. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, well folks, you probably don't need me to tell you. But we should probably get some rest. Uh, let me loot this treasure first, real quick. <laughs> oh yes, what I get? Not, not gonna lie, I legitimately forgot about the treasure. Me too. <laughs> That's, okay. That's okay. You guys had and something that... else going on, and I'm like, as I'm like digging into the treasure. The best way to describe the feeling <laughs> of seeing the Raven Queen is like coming home on a cold ass day, and there's just hot pie. Or, like, a <laughs> fireplace in the living room. Yeah, she seems pretty neat. She gave you something, and she gave us something. <laughs> I'm not religious, but I like your god. If I had to pick one, it would be her. Let's go. She, she is rather... It's hard to be an atheist in, in, in the world of D&D, and they just literally show up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine being like, no, they're not real. No. <laughs> no. Well, especially like I think of it like uh, Greek gods or whatever. Like this is the god of the sea, and it's like there's definitely a sea, <laughs> and it definitely gets angry. <laughs> like. <laughs> hmm. What about that treasure? I'm working mm -hmm. on it. Do we have to roll for it? You have a random loot table for us, man. Gimme, 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 gimme. I'm like a little kid a kid that's trying to like ask for some candy or something. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah. Jason, if you play Baldur's Great Gate 3, I hope you play a gnome. Just a gnome rogue. <laughs> I'll have to at one point. We started one and I'm a druid of the nice. shrooms. Um the shrooms. <clears throat> When we divvy up the treasure, let's make sure we put it somewhere, just in case, <laughs> so we don't have the problem that we had last time, where it, it vanished into the ether. I have an idea. <laughs> I actually have an idea. Ready? Treasure. From Raven Queen. Start. Welcome to Threads. Whoa! The Twitter killer. <laughs> God damn it! It's on Discord God now. <laughs> yeah, we're all here. Oh, fuck. The Twitter killer. The Twitter killer. All right. Are we ready? I am ready to type. Oh, I'm so ready. All right. Taking all of the gold ready. into account first. You find. 400 platinum pieces. Woo! And other various uh -huh. coins totaling up to... Ten thousand gold. Uh -huh. Gemstones. I'm gonna have each of you roll a D twenty five. 
I'm ready. Mira got Each a five. Of us roll my, a d25. Rubbing my hands dickishly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've been so happy to get loot in my life. Kamira, picking through the pile, you find uh, an odd spherical stone that... Hang on, let me see what this looks like in real life. Oh, fuck. That's okay, it's all just random generated. You never know. One might be, like, the best thing. Yeah, it's either really good or really bad. Or mediocre. Which is bad and loot. Okay. Kamira, you find a small stone that looks like this. Ew. A slightly lustrous black. I found a rock. Oh, it's oh, just what now? But perfectly spherical and smooth. It's a very a new round, hand smooth touches rock. the beacon. A new. <laughs> oh no! What it, what, is, what is it, what is it called? Just a smooth. It's a it's a smooth black lustrous stone. Lustrous stone. I shake it a little bit. And I put it towards the magical people. Is this magic? It's the black pearl. It's the black pearl. Um, Kiran, you find what looks to be a sizable uh, and pre-cut amethyst. Nice. I kind of hold wow, it up. Wow, we the rolled the same thing. Mm -hmm. I let the sun shine through the amethyst. Uh, my face. I'm going to go ahead and give you the gold values on these, just for the sake of ease for later. Um, so the thing that you have, Chimera, it's a black pearl worth 600 gold. Wow. Nice. The cut amethyst that nice. Kidan found is worth 120 gold. Because we know you're just going to take it to Bard and have him identified. Anyway, Ember rolled a 10. What does this look like? Your mom. <laughs> Whoa. It looks like a I'm ferret. Deleted. My mom looks like <laughs> <laughs> This reminds me of my mother. I was about to say, you've met my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of curiosity, Dare, is there a reason to use a backslash? Uh, it's a method of... Because I don't nesting. have indentation. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just a nesting. I can make it nesting. look a little bit prettier, I think. Oh, no, no I you're fucking good. can't. I was just picking your brain because I noticed the pattern. And I'm really autistic, so I notice patterns. Ooh. Ember, you find something like that. <laughs> it seems to be uncut currently. Uh, Uncut. It is. <laughs> it is. Chalcedony? Chalcedony? I don't know even how you say that. But that is Cal what it is. Calzone Donny. Calzone Donny. Does it taste good? Tony Lazuto. It's the same thing. Uh, it is worth What's it taste like? 30 gold. Uh, in this case, it tastes like sand, believe it or not. <laughs> I like it. And then okay. <laughs> next we had Tameki rolling a, a big fat one. Yep. You have a piece of amber worth eighty. How much gold. is it worth? Eighty. Eighteen gold. Eighty. Eight zero. Okay. Ah. Uh. Peppers. Got thirteen. Count so don't. You find an eye agate. Worth ten gold. I got that. It. How much gold? Ten. Ten. One zero. 
Oh, did I actually get the short end of the straw? You did. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You did, when, at least when it comes to, to gemstones. You know, I, like, was trying to find a gif, and I put in rock, and I hate, I hate this. Oh, my, hate God. my God. What the God. fuck? Oh, yeah, the AI-generated no, rock-eating rocks. It's awful. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna delete it. I'm sorry, I can't keep it. <laughs> I like how it even has like the cheddar stock <laughs> text in it, the watermark. Oof. It makes it Oof, more brother. legit. Yep, <laughs> Uh You find a couple of what appear to be mundane items. You find a brass flower brooch engraved with elven script. Ooh, can I read it? Brooch with elven script. Mm -hmm. You can. can I read it? <laughs> you can, although the script that it uses is an old form of Elvish. So it's kind of like reading Old English. You can kind of make out what it says. Of the olden times before the sun doth drew upon the horizon. <laughs> It seems... With my and Dan's elven, elvish language knowledge, can we figure it out? It seems to invoke the, um, the watchfulness and protection of Lindalii. That is the name that you see, although it doesn't mean it. Lindalii. Dare I like your spell? Of the uh, Chalcedony. You may make a uh, a either a history or a religion check with disadvantage to see if this name means anything to you. I also can read Elvish. Okay, you would keep you. Can I do the check. You can also try to make a check. Yes. History, I think I only do Celestial. Janira, mm -hmm. the name jumps out at you, but you really have to struggle to remember why. During your studies um, to become a, a cleric for the Raven Queen, one of the things that you had to study was the history of the gods, at least what has been written down. And you know that there are many gods and goddesses who no longer exist in the world, either having been lost to time or de destroyed during the Dark Age um, or otherwise are, are missing in action. Lindaliae is the name of a what used to be a very important deity for elven kind in general all you can remember about lindaliai is that their um their portfolio included music and the spoken word they were they were essentially the um the, the god of bards Oh, cool. Yeah, I will let uh, both of them know. Uh, Kidan, if you'll let me, can I pin this on you? Kidan looks confused, but doesn't seem to fight that you're trying to pin something on him. He's just kind of, like, dumbfounded. All right. Looks pretty good. Pat, Pat. You can fit <laughs> so much elven script on this. Uh, the next thing you find is a, a fancy brocade choker trimmed with fox fur. Ooh. A fancy brocade? Yep. Is it magical? It is mundane. All of these items are mundane. 
The last thing you find is what appears to be a linen tabard threaded with copper. Linen tabard with what on it? Copper? Threaded with anything? copper. So it has a copper literally woven into the material. No discernible pattern. It is just... Almost looks like maybe it was unfinished. Now. Magical items. I want you each to roll me a d18. D eighteen. And I know you gotta go here in a lesser. I'm gonna try and bring it an it to an end. It's gonna be a pretty short session tonight. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Uh Ember a two. Uh <clears throat> what is this? Oh. Who now would change? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Our static name in Final Fantasy, like our raid team, is All Right, it's the Time Wizard. Oh my god. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh! is so funny. Ray, you find a scroll containing the spell Hold Portal. Which is effectively Hold. a way to magically lock a door. Hold portal. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's in D and D Beyond. Um, it seems to be a relic of, of older D and D. Is this something? It's a scroll which I can learn from and eventually learn the spell. Yes, it is effectively a first level spell. Sweet. A uh, spell magically holds shut a door, gate, window, or shutter of wood, metal, or stone. The magic affects the portal just as if it were securely closed and normally locked. A knock spell or a successful dispel magic spell can negate a hold portal spell. Uh, for a portal affected by the spell, add 5 to the normal DC for forcing open the portal. Okay. Do I need to write that down or no? Uh, just write down the hold portal scroll. I can find that later. Kidan rolled a 16. Hold portal. What is this? This might actually Ooh, be scary. Oh, I'm loving these. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What are those? What are those? <laughs> what are those? I think a, a 10 is a baby blue dragon. Mm. I agree. That really wants to be my friend. My son. Okay. Kidan, you find a ring that has uh, that seems to be made up of what looks to be a small lizard of sorts. Like, the lizard wrapping its tail around itself is the actual body of the ring, and then the eye of the lizard is a small, greenish gemstone. Looks a bit like this. Ooh. That's, That's cool. so cute! It is very that... cute. I'd wear that. Me too. <laughs> That's shaped kind of like a chameleon. Indeed. It kind of is, yeah. You'll have to get that uh, identified. Find out exactly what it is. <laughs> but the gem is green, correct? The gem is green, yes. 
is it faceted into one side or is it like all the way through if I held it up to the light? Uh, it's just on one side. Okay. The other side of the chameleon's face just goes right into the band, so there's no gemstone there. Um, you know, I'll I'll just go ahead and tell you what it is, because again, you're just going to go to Barden and get it identified. What you have there is uh, what we call a ring chameleon power. This is another one I may have to add manually into D and D Beyond. Maybe it's homebrewed somewhere. Uh. Basically, you can use the ring in order to uh, apply the effects of Pass Without a Trace to oneself. Oh, cool. So it gives you a plus 10 bonus to stealth. And as an action, you can use the ring to cast the Disguise Self spell on yourself. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mira got an 18. It'll probably end up going to you. <laughs> Come here, you find a wand. A wand of Cat's Grace. Cat's uh, Grace. Yes, it is a wand that um, allows you to cast a spell that grants a bonus to dexterity for a short time. Oh, that's good. Just what a rogue needs. More dex. I want so much dex. Um, it currently has 13 of its 50 charges. And it will regenerate a certain number of charges per night. Ooh. Have to find that. Sergeant Peppers with a 15. You get a potion, sir. I like potions. Once you get ident once you get it identified, it seems to be a potion of reduce person, as opposed to the uh, the potion of growth that Tomeki so enjoys using. Give it to Tomeki, but don't tell him. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, all right, roll a d three. Which of the potions do you drink? Oh, you accidentally took the reduce one. Tiny Meki. Tiny Meki. And Tameki, you find what appears to be a uh, a bundle of scrolls. The scrolls you find are a scroll of blink, scroll of innervation, and a scroll of polymorph. Yeah. I believe you're a it. wizard barbarian. Just can't do it while you're raging. Because you're... Blah, 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 blah. I give it to the wizard <laughs> people. Ooh. Are we itemizing everything in this thread? Yes, but Actually, uh, Dare's mind. got it. Dare's already on it. I just hear the clacking, and clacking. I see it instantly go in there before <laughs> I can hit enter. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Oh, my, my keystrokes don't go in. Huh, about that. Hmm. There's a joke there about strokes going in, but you know what? I'm just gonna just gonna leave that one there this time. <laughs> yes. Well done. You have defeated your foe. You have gained some treasure. Did I not get anything? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I miss? I totally did. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you skipped. 
Ten. Oh, Chanira. <laughs> you get nothing. <laughs> okay. Yes, my queen. <laughs> I shall not frown upon your judgment. Uh, okay. Janira, for, um, for dealing the final blow on the, the mummy lord, I will give you a choice. Okay. So, there are, oh gosh, I closed up. Darn it. One second. I generated something that was really cool on one generation of the treasure. Like, it was one thing that was good and everything else sucked. So I regenerated it. A really cool magic item. I wanted to save. But I don't know how Opera G. If you close the tab, you can hit Control Shift T until the tab that you close comes back. I found it. I defined the history. Okay. Okay. So your choices of magical item are boots of elven kind. Which, if I refresh my memory here. Ooh, that's pretty good too, but that's only a point. Get to that. Yeah, boots of elven kind. So while you wear these boots, your steps makes no no sound regardless of the surface you are moving across. You also have an advantage on stealth checks that re rely on moving silently. Or a potion of aid, or a potion of blur, a ring of minor spell storing, or a raven themed eyes of the eagle. Which are goggles that you put on. Uh, while wearing them, you have an advantage on perception checks that rely on sight. In conditions of clear visibility, you can make out details of even extremely distant creatures and objects as small as two feet across. What does the ring of spell throwing do again? I think you can store up to. I think I have that. It stores up to five levels of spells. Which is pretty good. How does that work? So, Do it like the night before? Yeah, you have to expend spell slots in order to save the ones that you want in there. It's like something you do the night before. Mm -hmm. yep. Night before or just once so and then you have it for however long. So it's it's listed as a ring of minor spell storing. We're just gonna bump that to a ring of spell storing. Minor okay. spell storing is apparently a Pathfinder thing. Okay. Uh, the ring sounds pretty good. It's pretty handy. I will take the ring. Now have a ring of spell storing. Uh, it does not acqu uh, require attunement. So, okay. wow, that's oh sorry, wild. sorry. No, it does. It does. Okay, oh. I was about I was about to say just free five spell slots without needing to attune for it. Like, give me one for each finger, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have ten rings of spell storing. <laughs> I can cast 50th level spells with it. Damn, at that rate, you're just a warlock with real spells. You're the DM. You're the DM. You're the DM. <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait to give somebody a wish at some point, and they want to, and they like make a wish like, "I want to rule the world." Like, all right, well, you're the DM now. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll roll up a character now. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Thank you. In a flash of light, you are now sitting at your desk. <laughs> yep. Uh, you you wish that uh like the dm becomes like a player and then if you kill the player it's like there's nothing that narrates reality so it ceases to exist there is no oh, god man. so everything, everything crumbles in, <laughs> everything in reality learns about it and then ends up trying to like you know coerce the dm or come and like kidnap them or something that'd be an interesting <laughs> concept all right so Quest completed, and treasure in hand. What is the group's next course of action? I find... I think, I think if we're safe, too, we just go back to the hub, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, that sounds like a plan. Get out of this fucking desert. Yeah, we opened up the hub. I'm gonna cast sleep on myself. <laughs> the melatonin don't quite hit like the magic. So, just as a reminder, you guys are yeah. Okay. Who the fuck is this? That is a Morrowind character. That's a, that's an old. That's some, that's an old. That's some gold there, Jeezy. Character. With token. this character's death, the thread of prophecy is severed. Restore a saved game to restore the weave of fate, or persist in the doomed world you have created. Yep. Well. Sometimes if you kill the DM, <laughs> you see that message. But yeah, it's old. I wouldn't even worry about updating it because I have the new one. But we'll wait. Okay. That'll be probably next time after your next long rest. Mm -hmm. So we we went. We go home and we sleep. Mm -hmm. We sleep. But after okay. sleep, well, we we can talk about that next time. Then that's fine. Okay. I will give myself a long rest before I forget. Victorious. Mama be hurting. You go back to the hub. And... and that is where we'll pick up next time with maybe things moving along or maybe having a little bit more vacation time. Who knows? Because at this point, I feel like you need a vacation from your vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. For real. We did that at the same time. Right, and I was like yeah. 13. I feel like I had a lot more missing. 49. <laughs> yeah, you did have a lot missing. <laughs> I was holding on by the sliver of your temporary health. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad I picked this class. Alrighty. Congratulations, everybody, on a job well done. It is. That good stuff.